Before we go ahead and graph this data, we have to remember that the horizontal line is called the x-axis and the hor and the vertical line is called the y-axis. We also have to remember that where they connect is called the origin. So if we ignore the vertical y-axis, just look at the x-axis. The origin represents the zero. So you go this side, you go this way, you get to the negative numbers. Negative one, negative two. If you go to the right of the origin, the x values grow to positive one, positive two. Guess what happens on the y-axis? If you go above the origin, this is like a thermometer now, right? Where this is zero on the y-axis as well. You go above, you get positive one, positive two. You go below the origin, you get negative one y and negative two y. Now let's go ahead and uh, plot these points here, these coordinates. We have negative one and zero. We have to represent this now. Look, if we do this, we're going to go x is negative one. So let's start there. Here's x is negative one. But y is zero, which means don't go up and don't go, just stay at zero y. So on the thermometer, we're not going to move up or down. We're just going to stay there and make our dot. Then we'll move on to this one here. X is zero. Now, where's X zero? X is zero right at the origin. And then we have to bounce up because this is positive one. So we're going to go bounce up here. Now, the origin is not part of our graph. These dots here, let me change their color. The dark dots are. Now here we have positive 1x, positive 2y. So we'll go positive 1x, positive 2y. Y is vertical. Then we're going to go positive 2y, positive 3y. So we'll start at the origin. We'll go positive 2y, positive 3y. And then positive 3x and positive 4y. So we'll go positive 3x and positive 4y. And look what we have here. We've got a linear equation. We have a linear graph, we can connect the dots. And by no means do these dots, these points, stop in this area. We can keep this pattern going forever. So what we like to do is to put arrows on both ends. That's what we have to remember. Put arrows because this line goes forever in both directions. I will also introduce you to the term ordered pairs. The ordered pairs. Ordered pairs are when you take these values and you put them in brackets. Separated by a comma, the x value has to come first and the y value has to come second. So we'll take negative 1 and we'll take 0 and this is now an ordered pair. You don't have to write the x and y. In fact, it is not re recommended to write x and y. We just know it is x first and y second. If we remove the brackets and put it in a table, these are just a table of values. When I take them out of the table of values and I put brackets around them, they are now ordered pairs. So we can make another pair of ordered pairs and make another one here. We can write 1, 2, and we can take 2 and 3, and we can take 3 and 4. And I'm going to throw a bomb at you right now. I'm going to say, what is the value going to be if x is 86? If x is 86, what is my y value going to be? Now, you could look at the pattern here and observe something interesting. You can observe that y is always one more than x. We're always adding one. Adding 1 to 2, you get 3. Add 1 to here, you get 4. So we can use that to figure out that it's 87. And then write 87 over here. We could do that. This equation now, I'm not asking you to write an equation, but if I did, would not be a very difficult equation to write. It would just be x plus 1 equals y. And I can substitute any value I want for x to get my y value. What if I said, what is the value of y if x is negative 16? What's my y value going to be? And then write it as an ordered pair. You would simply substitute this negative 16 in here. Because it's an x value, add 1 to it. And if you do that, you're going to get what? You are going to get negative 15. That's right. We're adding 1. So we can write that as an ordered pair as well. We can write negative 16 and negative 15 as an ordered pair. 
How about if we have to write, now look here what we have. We have, we have a table of values, but there's no numbers in there. We just have an equation. And then they're asking us to plot the graph. How do you do that? Not so difficult. Just put any numbers you want in here. Let's put a combination of negatives just for practice and positives. Let's go in order. Let's go negative two. We can put negative one, zero, one, two. And then what we will do is substitute all of these x values in here. So we can do it first. We can say we can put negative two in there first and get two. That's the two right here. And instead of x, I will write negative two. And then I will write take away four. And when I do that, this makes negative four. Minus four is negative eight. I will write negative eight. You see what I just did? I'm going to do it again. I'm going to write the two. I'm going to write it here. And then instead of x, I will write negative one. Then I will subtract four because that's what it says. Over here says subtract four. And when I do that, I go two take, two times negative one is negative two. Minus four is negative six. I get negative six. How about if I put zero in here? What if I go two times zero? Subtract by what it say, four? I'm gonna get two times zero is zero. Minus four is negative four. And you can probably see the pattern here. We're always jumping up by two, jumping up by two. So we can go negative two and zero. Just continue the pattern unless I'm giving you marks for showing your work, in which case you would need to repeat all of these equations each and every time. Is it hard now to plot the graph? I think not. I think we could just go ahead and just go negative two, negative eight. Here's the origin. So we'll go negative two and then down eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh oh, out of room. Let's just estimate it over here. And then negative one, negative six. Negative one, negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five, negative six. Here we have zero and negative four. So stay on zero, x, and then just go down four. And then 1x, y is negative 2. So here, start again. Go 1x and down 2. And then x is 2, y is 0. So x is 2 and y is 0, meaning don't go up or down. Stay in the middle of that thermometer where y is 0. And look what we have, ladies and gentlemen. We have a beautiful, lovely linear graph. It is a straight line. And we like to put arrows on both ends because it'll continue forever in both directions. Ah!